how to avoid flood homes in Houston, Texas. Yes, it floods in Houston. And you're thinking, where do I find a home that didn't flood? Well, the first place is to get information. So you know which homes have flooded or not flooded, or which homes are in a flood zone or not in a flood zone. Go to the FEMA flood maps online. You can write in the address and it will directly take you to that map to find that information. The next thing to do is get the seller's disclosure before you make an offer. The new seller's disclosure has to have the seller disclose whether or not the home has flooded and the details on that. If there are not enough details, ask more questions. The other thing is ask neighbors. I know you're not living there yet. You can have your buyer's agent ask the neighbors. As a realtor, I have no problem doing that. People do like to talk and uh, talk about which houses have flooded or if their area has flooded or not. Very important information. Other thing is get a new survey. This will help you find out if your home is in a flood zone or if it was, if it no longer is, or if it no longer is and things have changed, it may be now. So having a current survey when purchasing a home is very important. The other thing is consider flood insurance. <laughs> because it doesn't matter whether a home is in a flood zone or not in a flood zone, it could flood because nature happens and uh, hurricanes are unpredictable, climate change, the whole gamut. You just never know, be prepared. The other thing is the pitfalls of buying a home that has been flooded is they don't accrue in value over time like the homes that didn't flood. They can have mold problems. They're going to be prone to flooding again. And sometimes the government will take areas and neighborhoods and say, we're just gonna buy out the houses and tear them down because they have flooded too many times. So there's just some places that you're gonna go, eh, you know, I, I don't wanna invest there and it's not gonna grow my equity. So if you're considering a home that has flooded, do your due diligence to do the homework on it and figure out the information or details. Sometimes you'll come across investors that will write in the disclosures and say, I don't know, I'm just the investor. And that's why we ask neighbors. Neighbors are the best word of mouth. Just ask them and they'll tell you all the gossip. But otherwise, uh, definitely uh, get a good realtor that's going to help you ask those questions. So I have a new playlist area that says uh, in Texas and it has history and all kinds of fun things to do in Houston area and Texas. So I would check that out. Uh, you can also press like if you like this video, comment if you have any questions. You can contact me if you want to talk about buying or selling real estate in the Houston or outer suburb areas. I'm mainly working in the West Houston area. Also, you can check out my website, Donna's website, and look at Texas homes right now and see what's for sale and how much. So until next time, talk to you later. Bye.